Oliver Twist, or The Parish Boy's Progress, is the second novel published by Charles Dickens and one of his most famous and influential work. The story begins in the English countryside during 19th century, in a government-operated workhouse where a woman dies giving birth to a child, Oliver Twist. The boy is therefore transferred to an orphanage run by Mrs. Mann, where he spends nine years before returning to the workhouse. but hunger and the constant punishment suffered push Oliver to run away to London. In London, he meets a gang of juvenile pickpockets, led by the elderly Fagin, a man who has no scruple to rob people using children without family. My name is Jack Dawkins, better known as the Artful Dodger. Oliver Twist. Why are you known as the Artful Dodger? That's why. This is Ian Fagan, my new friend. Oliver Twist. Well, well, Oliver Twist. <laughs> I hope I have the honour of a more intimate acquaintance. <laughs> During his stay with the thieves and Fagin, Oliver begins to learn how to steal. One day, the young pickpockets rob an old gentleman, Mr. Brownlow. Oliver tries to escape, but he is mistaken for the real thief and got arrested. Mr. Brownlow, however, exonerates Oliver and hosts him in his house, offering him affection and education and a home. The boy is soon captured by Fagin and his thief, and he is forced to steal in the very house of his benefactor, Mrs. Brownlow. During another burglary, things go wrong, and Oliver tries to escape, 
but he is shot. In the meantime, Fagin managed to escape, leaving the boy behind. Sykes, another member of Fagin gang, tries to kill Oliver because he is afraid that the boy could confess the crime. So, Dodger, what's it all about? A new boy. Come out of us before he's rightly up to it. Got nabbed by the traps. You see, Bill, I'm afraid he may say something which will get us into trouble. You're blowed upon Fagin. <laughs> and about time. And I'm afraid, you see, Bill, that if the game were up with us, it would come out rather worse for you than it would for me in the end. But with the support of Nancy, Sykes' girlfriend, the boy manages to go back to Mr. Brownlow, while Sykes, during the flight, remained hung by accident, and Fagin is condemned to be publicly executed. Even if the director, Roman Polanski, has created an accurate interpretation of Dickens' novel, it was granted significant omissions, like Oliver's noble origins. As a matter of fact, Polanski entirely removed two of the most important subplots, the Mele family and the character of Monks, Oliver's half-brother. Oliver now has no origin, he is an anonymous orphan like the rest of the Fagin's gang. In the Dickens novel, the Mele family is introduced when Oliver was shot, and the owners of the house where the robber was taking place, Mrs. Mele and her adopted niece, Rose, save Oliver, and thanks to them, the boy fully recovers from the shot. In Polanski's screen adaptation, the storyline is completely removed, leaving out some important details of the end of the story. As a matter of fact, in the novel Fagin keeps searching for Oliver, together with Monks, another guy who seems to hate Oliver. It turns out that Monks is Oliver's half-brother, an illegitimate son of Rose, that is Oliver's aunt. Oliver's father had left an inheritance both to Oliver and to Monks, and that's why he tries to get rid of Oliver. By eliminating this side story, Polanski needed to recreate another to fill the gap in the plot. So, he focuses on Fagin, that plotting with Sykes, wants to kill the boy, which does not happen in Dickens' novel. As a consequence, in the movie, the criminals seeking for Oliver do it for pure viciousness and to prevent that the boy could tell everyone the truth. Polanski, in the movie, gives us an alternate ending with Oliver's visit to Fagin before his execution avoiding so the silly happy ending, leaving us with the protagonist who shed a tear over the fate of one of his persecutors, implying that the right way to look at other people is not to divide them between good and evil. Speak to him now, quick if you please. If he grows worse as the time goes on. Thank you. You were kind to me. Yes, dear. I'll be kind again. I'll be kind again. I'll be kind again. <gasps> I'm not afraid. <laughs> the novel written by Charles Dickens is an early example of the social novel, invented by the writer itself. It is developed in the first half of the 19th century and examines the heels and the problems of the 19th century English society, such as poverty, child labor, rising criminality, unfortunately current reality. Oliver in the book has the task of representing a social comment of the society in which Dickens lived in. He also accurately describes life in slums and houses on the point of ruin, and makes Oliver the spokesman of a strong message about caste and social injustice. <laughs>